11 News reporter Londra Booker has the story from Hopkins. 15-year-old Amber Ramirez for years has lived with uncontrollable seizures and the uncertainty of Rasmussen syndrome, which has been gradually eating away at her brain. She is now undergoing the radical surgery during which doctors will remove the left half of her brain. This is a disease that seems to eat away at one side of the brain like a Pac-Man and eventually causes paralysis, causes retardation. Doctors say the surgery is Amber's best hope. <laughs> and nine-year-old Jody Miller is living proof of the possibility. The right half of her brain was removed almost six years ago. I think that since my surgery, I've done great. So, um, it's like nothing really to worry about now. But Jody still remembers when she had a seizure right here on the playground of her daycare center. At only three years old, she and her family were forced to face Rasmussen syndrome. Our world fell apart, <laughs> basically. But as time went on, things got stronger with therapy. Um, her attitude was, uh, it came back and she's just been a happy-go-lucky kid. I think that it was like, kind of scary because I had seizures and all and my mom was sort of course scared. That's the same kind of fear that's now gripping the mother of Amber Ramirez. She's a pretty tough kid so I think she had a few tears but not usually as many as I would have thought she would so. Booker reporter will have a live update on Amber's condition later in this newscast.